Are you serious? Are you serious? Okay, guys, now you know that there's an asteroid coming. Uh, Wednesday, it's going to come very close to the Earth. A near-Earth object, according to NASA, just discovered. They're calling it 2017 BX. It's 30 feet in diameter. It's 10, uh, 10 meters in diameter. And it's going to go whizzing by the Earth on Wednesday. You haven't heard anything about it, but check it out. I'll put the link below at spaceweather.com. Right on the chart. There it is. Also, today, we have a, a huge coronal hole turns toward the Earth from the sun. This hole has opened in the sun's atmosphere, and it is spewing a stream of solar wind into space. An extreme ultraviolet telescope on board NASA's Solar Dynamic Observatory uh, has captured the photograph of it uh, on the Earth today, on this January 23rd. This is a cor coronal hole, a region in the sun's atmosphere where the magnetic field opens up and allows solar wind to escape. It is Earth-facing, folks, and this very gassy filled stream of a gamma rays and ultraviolet rays and radiation is streaming right toward us. That means we're going to feel a lot of pressure on the planet, which could create, of course, major earthquakes and tsunamis or volcanic eruptions or power outages in some cases. But normally, power outages come from the solar flares. These are, of course, solar winds or a solar stream coming through the uh, sun's atmosphere that has a me mega hole in it, allowing it to flow right toward us. Earth facing puts pressure on us. And we're going to continue to keep a close eye on this because in the next 24 to 48 hours, you may begin to see earthquakes popping up in different locations, which could be very, very dangerous and damaging. I'm, I'm checking right now, just so you'll know, uh, in the last few hours, of course, we had that 7.9 earthquake that hit Saturday night down in uh, Papua New Guinea. But just in the last few hours, we have had a 5.1 earthquake in the northern Mid-Atlantic Ridge, a 4.5 in Alaska, a 4.3 in Pakistan, a 4.4 in Chile, and we just had a 4.7 in the Solomon Islands. And this, of course, the pressure just building, but the, st the solar streams from this huge uh, hole in the, in the sun uh, has not reached us yet, okay? So in the next 24 to 48 hours, even 72 hours, let's say, give yourself three days to allow this pressure to build, we'll see exactly what is going to take place from this major coronal hole in the atmosphere of the sun. And oh, by the way, the radiation levels, which you don't see, are still spiking on this planet from two directions. The solar um, minimum that the sun is in, releasing its gamma rays of radiation from the sun, and the five waves of energy. As wave number two, we're in the middle of this, well, not in the middle, but we're in now into the thrust of this second wave of energy and it's really, uh, really spiking the radiation levels off the charts. Last year alone, we had a 12.5 increase in radiation from the year before off the charts. Normally, I mean, it's either the same, less, no more than a 1% ever. 12.5? And the second wave of energy is now pounding us to right now this year. Keep an eye on it, folks. We'll keep a close eye on it. Um, we don't know. We're living in times we never thought we'd ever see. But it's all matching the biblical prophecy. You start talking about the asteroids whizzing by, the sun. The Bible said there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars and distress of nations with perplexity. The sea and the waves roaring and men's hearts will fail them for fear for looking after those things that are coming upon the earth. For the powers of heaven shall be shaken. Then, then shall they see the son of man coming in a cloud with power and great glory. When these things begin to come to pass, he said, look up, lift up your head, for your redemption draweth nigh. I'll be back with more current world events 
and how they relate to biblical prophecy. We're living, folks, certainly in the last days. Are you saved? Give your life to Jesus Christ. Don't be left behind.